Hi, I'm Davey. I'm awesome. And welcome to Davey's Awesome Stories, where I tell funny stories from my past or go on a rant in an effort to make you laugh. So this week, I've talked about before how my wife and I were very different. That's usually the best relationships, is where you guys balance each other out because of your differences. And in previous videos talking about that, I've mentioned how it's funny that people will know me, know how strange and weird I am, and want to meet her because they think she's weird and strange. She's not. Let me clarify, she's not boring. She's just not very weird. Like if we were rich, I would be eccentric. She'd just be rich. But we're poor, so I'm weird and she's normal. However, everybody has their weird things. And even my wife has her weird things. Like one of the things that my wife is very weird about is my wife's choice in friends. My wife is always making friends with people much younger than her. Everywhere we've lived, my wife is like the neighborhood big sister. Even now, she's seven years younger than me, so she's in her early 30s. She's still making friends with people way younger than her. And I don't mean like, you know, late 20s. I mean like early 20s, late teens. That's who my wife makes friends with. Heck, when we first got married, she moved in with me and my roommate at the time. Economy was tough, she was trying to get a job, but we only had the one car, so when I would be at work all day, she's at home, she's bored. She made friends with the nine-year-old girl next door. Which, at first, kind of irritated me. I was like, why are you making friends with the neighbor's daughter? Well, I was just sitting outside, and she came over, and we started talking, and she said she likes board games, and she likes to do crafts. So just right there out on the porch, I brought out some board games, and then later we did some crafts. So what, we're now opening a daycare? Which I will say, that would be my wife's perfect job. And the thing is, is like, this wasn't a one-time thing. It would happen all the time. The little girl would be bored at home and come over, want to play board games, want to do crafts. My wife would be like, yes, let's play board games and do crafts. I'm like, you're 20 years old and you're hanging out with a nine-year-old. So maybe it'll give us a chance to get to know our neighbors. I've met them. I don't want to know them. I've met them enough to know they suck. Our neighbor opens his garage and blares his freaking music for the entire neighborhood. And because of this, doing this at all times of night has had me and pretty much everybody else in the neighborhood call the cops on him at least once. Screw the neighbors. I don't want to get close with them. My wife is that type, though. We lived in apartments. She goes down and checks the mail and comes back like, I was talking to one of the neighbors and... Before you finish that statement, what have I told you about talking to the neighbors? But in the first place we lived, that's the only time she made friends with, like, a kid... After that, they started usually being teenagers. Now, let me clarify something. My wife does have a few friends that are close to her age. It's not like she only makes friends with teenagers, but the majority. So much so that at one point I had to tell her, like, look, I get that they gravitate toward you. I get that you're like the big sister to everybody, and that's great. But stop inviting them over. My apartment is starting to look like an after-school youth center, especially because teenagers irritate the crap out of me. Even when I was a teenager. Like, I'll admit it, I've been a grumpy old man since I was 16. And it hasn't gotten better as I've actually become a grumpy old man. But it's weird how I was fine with kids my age when I was a kid. Then I got to teenage years and I'm like, you're all stupid. You're all a bunch of beings that can't control your emotions and think you know everything. But I kind of just had to accept it at one point that, okay, fine, teenagers, there's just like a magnet to them and my wife and they have fun and... She relates to them, and she gives them advice, and she becomes their mentor, and whatever. And for the most part, thankfully, I can just avoid it. Like, they come over when I'm sleeping or I'm at work, and I don't have to even interact with them, but sometimes I do. And, oh, God. Because they all have opinions, and none of their opinions are valid. And they all want to talk about things they know nothing about, which is pretty much anything. And I remember one time my wife had a friend of hers who brought her boyfriend, and... It was my day off, so I couldn't be away from it, so I was just sitting there letting them hang out. I was on a laptop playing a video game, and every time I would hear the crap that he was saying, I couldn't help but roll my eyes like, Politics. Adult stuff. Life lessons. My eyes rolled back so hard, I swear I saw my brain. And he noticed. So, of course, him being somebody who knows what he's talking about had to throw out, Hey, what's with all the eye rolling? Oh, I'm uh, doing that because you have no idea what you're talking about, but you think you're smart. 
And the look on his face was great because, like, as if I was going to back down, like, Oh, nothing, all-knowing teenager. Please don't get mad at me. No, I don't give a crap. And he even threw it out, like, Are you disrespecting me? Yes, I am disrespecting you. You know why? Because you're a stupid teenager. Now shut up. I will say the good thing about these friendships and my wife is they're teenagers, so most of them don't last long. They get caught up in their drama or some other stupid thing of life or they get a boyfriend or girlfriend or sometimes they just grow up and move on. So I only have to deal with it temporarily most of the time. A couple of those friendships have lasted. And I will admit, the ones that usually last are the ones where I get along with them for the most part too and become friends with them as well. But again, they sometimes bring other people with them. Like some that I'm still friends with, they're now in their early 20s. I remember when they were young, one of them brought her boyfriend and I was asleep. And he woke me up while yelling at my dog. A dog I did love, but sadly we don't have anymore. And I will say this, I'm not one of these people that are like, Oh my dogs, they're just like my children. They're not my children, they're my pets. But kind of like yelling at my kids if you yell at my dog I'm gonna get upset like that's my dog I can yell at it you can't so after waking me up for the umpteenth time before I was gonna go work my graveyard shift I finally got up and came out like quit yelling at my dog like it's yours it's doing something that's bothering you you can get the hell out and he stood there all shaky like uh I'm sorry I'm Joey by the way I don't give a crap who you are Shut up! I told you, I'm a grumpy old man. This guy and this girl dated for a while, and she brought him back at another point. Again, it was my day off, so I wasn't asleep. I couldn't really avoid him. Conversation started, of course I joined in. And it was funny, every time I said something, he was just like right there agreeing with me like, Oh yeah, me too, totally. Oh yeah, yeah, I love that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, me too, I hate that stuff. So much so that at one point I had to stop and ask, Dude, what are you doing? Agreeing with me on literally everything? Even though I can see in your face that you don't even know most of what I'm talking about? What, what are you doing? Why are you kissing my ass? I don't know. It's, it's just really important to me that you like me. Some people hear that and they're like, aww. I hear that and I'm like, aww, you're so pathetic. I, well, I'm sorry, but in my generation, even as teenagers, we were still dudes, and we didn't say stuff like that. And some of you may be going like, oh, well, were you the perfect teenager? No, I wasn't the perfect teenager. Of course I was full of myself. Of course I didn't know how to control my emotions. Of course I was full of crap. But when I was usually around older people, I wasn't the teenager sitting there telling them all my opinions and thoughts on life. I was the one picking their brains. That was me. I guess I have an old soul, if you will. But now speaking of the ones that we are still friends with, most of the ones we're still friends with, it's at a distance. They keep together on Facebook. They've grown up, moved on. There's some that we're still very close with. They're now in their early 20s. One of them has a kid, basically the same age as my youngest. So they come over, they're friends, they play. It's nice. But I remember the day my wife told me she met them. It was summer, so during the daytime she took the kids to the pool. That's where she met them. And that night I get up, I'm getting ready to go to work, and my wife is telling me, so we met these girls at the pool today, and they were very nice. <clears throat> That's nice, honey. Yeah, they're new to the building, so they didn't have a pool key yet. So I let them in. That was nice of you. At the time where we were living, it was an apartment, but they were actually condos, individually owned. We were only renting it from somebody. So to get a pool key, you had to go down to an HOA, and you had to pay them $25. They'd give you the key, and then you'd get the $25 back when you moved and turned back in the key. At the time, these kids, they were living with their dad and only their dad, doing the best he could, didn't have 25 bucks to go get the key, which, been there. So my wife, of course, being the nice person she is, opposite of me, was like, yeah, sure, I'll let you in. But my wife keeps going on. Yeah, they said their dad would get a key when he could, but it might be a few weeks. Well, I'm sure somebody will let them in from time to time. Well, it's okay. I told them if they just want to go swimming and we're not there... We live in this unit. Just come knock on the door. You can borrow our key. Are you insane? Yeah, I wasn't happy about this. I wasn't on board. I'm just like, we don't know these girls. You know them a little bit. I don't know them from a can of paint. What if they lose my key? What if they steal my key? 
Are they going to give me 25 bucks to go get another one? Well, they told me which unit they're in, so if they don't bring it back, I know where to go get it. Yeah, because it always works out like that. And I will say, they were fine. They were trustworthy. My wife would lend them the key. They'd always bring it right back. But that was just my problem. I was like, we don't know they're going to be that way. And my wife telling me, like, we can just go upstairs and get it. I don't know them. I don't know how they are. I don't know how their dad is. Now, it turns out their dad was a stand-up guy. He really was. I wouldn't say him and I became friends, but we had a couple conversations, and he was a good guy. I say was, because sadly, he is no longer with us. I found out very quickly, though, he was the kind of guy that, if the worst-case scenario of they took the key and didn't give it back happened, that he was the kind of guy that, like me, would not only make them give the key back, but they'd be in a lot of trouble. He was a very good man. But again, that was just my point, was we didn't know if he was a good man. For all we know, he was the guy who was going to be sitting there going like, Heh, well, it looks like we just got ourselves a free pool key. There was also a part of me that was very annoyed because instantly I was like, they're going to start hanging out here, aren't they? What's wrong with that? You know how I am about the teenagers that hang out with you. We've been living in a new place for a few months, and the first chance you get, you're making friends with more teenagers. Why? And exactly what I was worried about did happen. It started with, yeah, sure, I'll take you up on the offer of borrowing your key to, hey, can we come inside? Yeah, let's play board games. Do you like crafts? And it turned into a friendship. But I will say this is one of the times it worked out. It was two girls. They were teens at the time. We're still friends with them. We still hang out with them. We have been there for each other. For example, I mentioned their dad passed. Even though my wife and I were not close to their dad at all, of course we were there for them. Went to the funeral, constantly texting him and calling him like, hey, you guys okay? Do you need anything? Later that year, I ended up in the hospital, almost died. I'm perfectly okay now. But they were constantly calling and texting my wife asking, are you okay? Is there anything you need? Is there anything we can do for you? Time has went on. Like I said, one of them now has a child that she had literally a couple weeks before my youngest was born. And then soon after that, they moved away for a while. They've moved back in the last year. And we picked it up like it was nothing. They come over all the time for game night. Because I like board games too. Her son plays with my son. They're like best friends. I will say all those years ago, I am glad that my wife did something that she knew was going to annoy the freaking crap out of me by offering our pool key to a couple of teens who had nothing to do all summer. But recently, my wife told them this story. And of course, they were like... Huh, really? You were mad that she started hanging out with us? And they know me well enough. Because like I said, my wife's like the adopted big sister, so I guess that makes me the adopted brother-in-law. But they've known me well enough to where I just looked at them and said, yes, I was pissed at her over that. But knowing me, does that surprise you? (laughs) No, knowing you, that's not at all surprising. And recently my wife is doing it again. She's telling me about a friend she made at work who is late teens, very early 20s. And again, I'm getting annoyed. Really, I'm going to have another kid hanging out at my house. To which my wife responded, Oh, come on. Don't you ever want to make new friends? 14 years together. Do you know me at all? No, I don't want to make new friends. I barely keep the ones I have. But there is an actual moral to the story. This is one of those times my wife and I are very different. One of the times she's the one that's a little bit weird. However, would I change that about her? No. Because whereas, yeah, sure, oftentimes it annoys me, it works out. Because now we have a friendship that has stayed, lasted, and will probably last the rest of our lives. Even as time goes on, who knows what the future will hold. We may move away, they may move away, who knows. But even when they moved away the first time, that closeness never went away. So it's a good thing that we're opposite. So there you have it. That's my story video this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications when I post new videos, and leave a comment. Tell me some ways that you and your spouses are different. Love you guys.